putting her crystal tree out soon. Mm. I want to be sitting right next to Ethan when she sings my special request song. I cannot believe that you are pinning all your hopes on Ethan hearing one stupid love song. Oh, Whit, it's not stupid. It's gonna make Ethan look at me and say the words I've been waiting to hear my entire life. I love you, Teresa. Being in love has definitely fried your brain cells, Teresa. Well, don't knock it until you try it. Her song may have the same effect on you and Chad. Okay, the only song that I want to hear with connection with Chad is Hit the Road, Jack. You know what they say, Whit? Denial's not just a river in Egypt. <laughs> I wish Chad would come back. He will, he's just with Crystal. But at this very moment, she could be telling him who his parents are. Well, he'll know soon enough. <laughs> and you know what? If his parents are in harmony, he won't have to leave. And then you'll stick around and I'll have a chance with him. Okay, Simone, first things first. We have got to get Chad away from your sister. But she said she wasn't interested in him. Simone, I don't care what she says, okay? Whitney is the only thing in your way of getting Chad. Just like Charity is my only obstacle in getting Miguel. If we really want to achieve our heart's desires, we've got to do something about those two. Slummy, Julian, I wonder what it is that's drawn you here. Or should I say, who? Well, never mind what Julian wants. I see what I want. Honey, I'm glad you're wrong about that singer because uh, Crystal's supposed to be great. I thought, I mean, I heard that she'd left town. Oh, no, if you guys haven't heard her before, you guys are in for a real treat. She's going to be on in a couple of minutes. I can't risk being seen with you. I can't risk everything that I have built up here. My husband, my daughters, my medical practice. You're a doctor? Yes. I'm Dr. Eve Russell now, and I'm not going to allow anybody to destroy that, so just please go. No, wait a minute, Eve. I have to talk to you because there's a lot of things that I, I need to tell you. It doesn't matter. If you value the friendship that we once had, if you remember all the risk that I took for you so long ago, you'll leave tonight. Crystal, you said you'd give me the names of my moms and my pops. I waited all day to see you. I know, I know I did. And you deserve to know the truth. So then just tell me. Whatever it is. Just tell me. I gotta go. Don't you dare walk away from me, Louise. Look, I don't take orders from anybody. Least of all you. I thought you wanted to know why I slapped you before I left for Paris. Okay. You got my attention. What the hell happened? I've asked you why you left a thousand times. What made you finally decide to grace me with an answer? I told you, I wanted to clear the air. I'll make it quick. What is going on here? Why don't you ask your sister? Apparently she had something to tell me. Excuse us. Get your hands off of me. Please. Don't you tell me why you persist in chasing after a man who has no interest in you. That's not what I'm doing. I want to confront where we saw the truth. I want to tell him that I heard him say he was just using me. To what end? To humiliate yourself even more than you already have? I told you I would handle Luis myself. Look, I appreciate your brotherly concern, if that's what it is. But this has nothing to do with you. This is a private matter between me and Louise. Wait. Fine, I... I realize it's futile to try to reason with you in this state. You do what you feel you must. After you call Father. Father? Yes, he's most anxious to speak with you. I'll call him after I talk to Louise. I, I don't see what difference a few minutes will More make. power to you. You'll be very upset. Mr. 
Will you please excuse me for just a minute? I, I have to call my father. No, I don't have time for this, Sharon. Please, this is... Luis. We've been through too much together to not get things out in the open once and for all. I promise this will only take a minute. We had an agreement. You swore you'd stay away from my sister. Yeah, well, believe me. She's the last person I intended to bump into tonight. You better be telling me the truth. If you're trying to insinuate yourself back into my sister's life, I'll have you back in jail so fast you won't have time to say enchilada. You know, I saw a review in the paper today on this woman we're about ready to hear. She's supposed to be amazing. Have you ever heard this crystal before? <laughs> Why am I asking you? You have never been into this kind of music. But I think after tonight, you're going to love it. I wouldn't be surprised if you became a real blues fan. <laughs> Wow, you were terrific tonight, Eve. Thanks, I'm really so good. So nice of you to come night after night and hear me sing. Oh, my pleasure. I'd be so lonely otherwise. I know things haven't been easy for you here in Boston. But at least I have you to talk to, <laughs> to confide in. Yep. You know all my secrets, Eve. And I know all yours. lied to me. She told me she didn't know where Sam was tonight. Hey, hey. so where's Chad? I assume he's still backstage. And frankly, I hope he stays there. Well, looks like we got our work cut out for us. You know, if you guys think you're going to get something going between me and Chad, just forget it. Okay? It's not going to happen. What's that they say? Never say never? Teresa and Ethan are trying to help Whitney get her hooks into Chad. But she said she wasn't interested in him. How could she lie like that? Because romantic love is way stronger than a family love, Simone. If you want Chad, you're gonna have to fight for him. Look, I know learning who your parents are is important to you, Chad. Crystal, it's everything to me. I haven't put my music career on hold so I can try to find out who I am and where I come from. Only with everything I've tried, with everything I've touched, I've come up empty. It's been like banging my head against a brick wall. Until yesterday, when I met you. I finally found something that I can hold on to here. So please, I'm asking you, just give it to me straight. It's, Even if the truth ain't pretty. It's complicated, Chad. Well, how complicated can a name be? That's all I need. It's not like that. It, it, I want to give you the whole story straight, step by step. But I can't do that right now. I've got to go on stage, okay? Please. Chad, look at me, please. I know you're impatient. I understand. But trust me. Let's do this my way. It's best. All right. I don't wait it this long. Guess I ain't got no choice but to wait a little longer. Just promise me. Promise me you won't split without telling me. <clears throat> promise. I've got to find out what's happening. So what's stopping you? Yeah. Hey, Chad. So did you find out who your parents are? Chad, what did Crystal say? Don't keep me in suspense. Not a whole lot. She said she'd tell me after the show. Why is she going to tell you after the show? Well, she said it's going to take a little time to explain. Seems like I got a complicated history. Well, what do you think that could be? Who knows? Figures the story of my life wouldn't turn out to be no kid's fairy tale. Well, judging from the look on Whitney's face, maybe I ought to keep quiet about my problems right now. No, Chad, that's not true. I'm glad you're finally going to hear the truth about your past. Yeah, me too, man. <laughs> it's about time you caught a break. Are you telling me? 
Or this is almost as big of a deal to Simone as it is to Chad. I mean, she's been trying to help him find his birth parents since he first came to Harmony. Yeah, yeah, that's no doubt. She kept me going many times, and I wanted to give up. You've been true blue, Simone. I can't imagine what it would be like not knowing who your real parents are. Yeah, well, it's like, uh, it's like a shaky feeling, you know? It's like building a house without a foundation. You know, to me, the toughest part would be finding out that the people who you thought were your mother and father weren't your parents at all. Now, I don't know how you could recover from that. You do? Freshen up in the ladies' room. Well, sweetheart, hurry up. You don't want to miss any of Crystal's act. Yes, I'll be right back. All right. Oh, Eve, you should never lie to the lady who holds all the cards. Ivy? <laughs> Grace! <laughs> Fancy meeting you I here. I don't believe it. So, um, where's Julian? Oh, well, I'm, I'm on my own tonight. I was feeling a little low, and I thought music might help. I'm not sure the blues was exactly the right choice. <laughs> <laughs> well, why don't you join Sam and me? We're here with the rest. Well, I wouldn't want to intrude. No, you intrude? Absolutely not. In fact, I will not take no for an answer. <laughs> hey, look who I found at the bar all by herself. Can you believe that? I mean, she said she thought she'd be intruding, but I said we would all absolutely enjoy her company. Crystal, you promised that you would leave Harmony last night. Now, how can you do this to me after everything that I have done for you? Look, I know I owe you, Eve. I just couldn't skip out. Well, if it's the money from the singing engagement, I will be glad to make it up to you. Eve, it's not about the gig. There are things that I promised I would do before I left town. Please try to understand. The only thing that I understand is that my husband and my friends are sitting out there now, waiting for you to go on. And if my past comes out, everything that I have worked so long and so hard for is going to go up in flames. Don't threaten me, Julian. I ran into Sheridan by accident. Now, she's the one who wants to talk, not me. My sister has been through so much, she has no idea what she wants. Oh, don't underestimate her. She's a very strong woman. Only as if you knew anything about her. I will not have you hurt her again. Oh, is that what you think will happen if we talk? Yes. And as her brother, I'll do whatever I must to protect her. Or maybe it's something else. You're scared she'll tell me something that you don't want me to hear. It would be absurd if I don't want the two of you mending fences. It's because of what will come out of your mouth. Oh, what are you talking about? Don't play innocent with me. My sister is a very wealthy young woman. You, young man. Oh, boy, how dare you? You know that I would never take a dime from any woman, including your sister. Whatever you wanted from her in the past is a moot point because you're not going to get it. Isn't it obvious that nothing healthy can ever come of a relationship between you two? My God, she ran off to Paris to get away from you. Almost got herself killed in the process. What more proof do you need? I need to know why she left in the first place. Why she suddenly felt like she had to run away from me. You can tell me why she turned against me. Tell me and I will never ask her another question. You and my sister both claim that there can never be anything between you again, so what's the point in knowing why she ran off? Unless you're lying and want to get back into her life again. That's not it at all. Then why do you want to know? Because I'm a cop. I hate loose ends. Now, if Sheridan ran off to Paris because of me, as you say, then I want to know what I did to send her there. This never made any sense. This is a waste of time. 
We have a deal. It does not include an explanation for Sheridan or me. Now, if you're not going to keep up your end of it, tell me now. I mean, is it true that your people don't always keep their word? Oh, no, no, Vince intended. I, I've, never, I've never held the stereotypes of that sort myself. It's just something I've heard other people say. I, uh, it's an unfortunate slip of the tongue. You're damned right it was unfortunate. Oh. It's a bunch of bull. So I can count on you to honor your part of our deal. You keep your distance from Sheridan, and she never finds out about the arrangement. Well, Father didn't have anything urgent to tell me. In fact, he seemed quite surprised by my call. Really? He was most anxious to speak with you earlier. Perhaps he got busy and changed his mind. Well, he didn't say what it was about. Well, I assume it was about your happiness and well-being. In spite of what you think, he, he does worry about you. Whatever, Julian. In any case, I don't want to talk about Father. If you'll excuse us, I would like to finish my conversation with Luis. Don't anybody ever tell me that fate isn't real. Oh, no. Here we go again. Oh, laugh all you want. Wait, but what do you call Chad running into Crystal? How about a really, really lucky coincidence? Nope. It's destiny, pure and simple. I mean, of all the clubs that Crystal could have been booked in, and of all the towns that Chad was passing through, they both wind up here, in harmony, at the exact same time. Yo, Teresa's got a point, all right? Crystal told me this is the first time she'd ever been here. See what I mean? And Crystal is the only person in the whole world that can tell Chad about his parents. Except Orville. Oh, but he was a space cadet, so that doesn't count. But that's what I'm saying. Destiny rules. What's written is written. And there's nothing anyone can do to change it. I ain't gonna argue with that. Well, I am. I believe we write out our own futures. Map out our own destinies. If everything's all planned out in advance, what's the point in working towards anything? But wait, nobody's saying you shouldn't pursue your dreams. No, I agree. I think you have to go after what you want with your whole heart and soul. You can't leave anything up to chance. The way I see it, the person who fights the longest and the hardest for what she wants, well, I mean, for what he or she wants, wins. Yeah, but sometimes people don't know what it is that they want. I'm sure they do. Not always. I mean, sometimes a person's deepest desire is buried so far down that even they can't even touch it. And it needs a little nudge from the outside to bring it out into the open. Why on earth would you bring your husband and friends here tonight? I didn't. My husband surprised me. I tried to get them to leave when I saw that you were still here, but they want to stay in here. What am I going to do? Okay, okay, just settle down. Um, look, I'll finish the first set, then you can leave. Oh, my God. This is my worst fear. This isn't going to work, Chris. Why? What's wrong? Everything was going fine until recently. No one knew about my real past. But then Julian Crane's wife found out about my affair with her husband. Julian Crane? That was so many years ago. It doesn't matter. My husband hates that man worse than anybody else in the whole world. And Ivy Crane has pictures of me in bed with Julian. Oh, she's blackmailing me with them, and she's out in the audience right now. Okay, okay. What does she want you to do? The worst thing that you can imagine? Julia Crane's wife is in love with my best friend's husband. She wants me to help her to seduce him into having an affair. Oh, God, no wonder you're such a wreck. I hate doing this, but I can't have TC, my husband, see those pictures. It would, it would destroy my family. I met Whitney. She's so beautiful. Eve, she reminds me of you when you were that age. Oh, God, don't say that. What? I just meant that. I when know I know what you meant, but she can't be anything like me. Please, God, I have worked so hard to make sure that she and her sister have lives that are the exact opposite of mine back then. Okay. Then she won't. She'll be fine. Not if they find out that everything that their mother has told them is a lie. Please, Crystal, you can't go out there and sing. You might have to. I've got to go on in a few minutes. I'm begging you. If anybody puts two and two together and they connect me with you, I might as well be dead. Oh, Crystal. 
for old times' sake, please, don't go out there. It's okay, I... I gotta go. But I thought you wanted to know what happened. Well, I changed my mind. It's no use dredging up the past on me. Both know where we stand in the present. This is important. <sighs> Lopez Fitzgerald. Hey, Charlie, it's good to be back. Right now? Hey, you got it. Duty calls. That's what I consider important. You mean? I can't believe he just did that. He said he wanted to iron things out. You believed him? I'm so disappointed in you. When will you ever learn? I thought I was finally going to get some answers. But you have. Luis's actions confirmed what you already knew. He doesn't give a damn about you. I know what to cheer you up. I was just on my way to hear some live jazz. Would you care to come along? No, thanks, Julie. I really just need to be alone right now. Suit yourself. Well, I'm impressed. A chief of police who enjoys good jazz? Well, you strike me as quite the Renaissance man, sir. Oh, well, he is, but Sammy didn't plan tonight. It was TC's idea. He thought Eve might enjoy the singer. Ah, yeah. I, I hear she's marvelous. Do you know her work? No. Oh, but Sammy read that review, remember? Now, what did it say exactly? Mm, it said uh, her technique was extraordinary, and that uh, what sets her apart is that she sings from the heart. Mm. Well, I'm so glad I came. You know, I'm really in the mood for something real and romantic. Aren't you, Sam? <laughs> Did she tell you for sure if either of your parents are still in harmony? Nah. But I got a hunch at least one of them is. I hope so. Then there'd be no reason for you to leave at all. I think you're jumping the gun a little bit, Simone. Even if they are here, who's to say they'd want me around? Excuse me, sir. Are you the manager here? Guilty as charged. Is there a problem? Oh, no, no. I love the place. In fact, I was wondering if you rent the place out to private individuals. Yeah, I suppose if it's rich for most people's blood. Uh, I'm sorry, I haven't introduced myself. I'm Ethan Crane. I see. Well, just when would you be interested in having your party, Mr. Crane? Uh, actually, I was thinking more of a romantic evening with just two people. Happening. Ethan's realizing he loves me. I'm getting married soon, and I have a feeling my fiance would really like this place. Well, I'm honored, Mr. Crane. Well, why don't I work up some prices and dates, and I'll be in touch. Do you have a car? Oh, yes. God, I'd appreciate it. You might think he's in love with you tonight, Teresa, but he is sleeping with one for the rest of his life, okay? Wait, I know that's how it looks right now. But I'm the one that Ethan kissed on that park bench. He just isn't ready to admit that I'm his true love yet. But once Ethan hears Crystal sing my special song, his heart will belong to me. Have you ever thought of taking the power away from this woman who's blackmailing you? Didn't you hear what I said? She's Julian Crane's wife. I don't care if she is the queen mother. She is a bitch, and you can't let her do this to you. I don't have any choice. Yes, you do. You can tell your husband the truth. It's better him hearing it from you than him hearing it the wrong way from somebody else. But he doesn't have to hear it at all. That's why you're wrong. Listen to me. You can't keep your past hidden forever. No matter what, the truth is bound to come out. No, oh, not if you leave Harmony tonight. And I can keep Ivy from showing those pictures to my husband. What if I told you there's another threat to your very secret? I don't care, just as long as you tell me that you won't go out there and sing tonight. You're on, Crystal. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. You're in for an incredible evening tonight. I have the great pleasure of introducing one of the finest blues singers in the world, Crystal. I am sorry.
Thank you. Thank you very much. Is this the song you asked her to sing for you? No, but she said she would do it during her first set. It shouldn't be long before you can realize that he loves me and not quite as well. you're surprised to see me, Eve. Um, Grace said it would be all right if I joined you. Let's see. Honey, are you okay? You've been gone a long time. Oh, I just saw someone that I knew at the powder room. Oh, I'm glad you came back in time. This woman's singing a killer song. <laughs> Have you ever heard it before? this exact same discussion, Simone. Now, you better hurry up and scream before Mom and Dad see you, because you will be so busted. Simone, come on. She's right. There's no time to argue. All right. Bye, Chad. Good luck. Thanks. here too. What a pleasant surprise. You and the other delicious Teresa out for a little bit of the blues. So much for all that righteous indignation you keep spouting at me about fidelity. 
For your information, I'm not here with Teresa. She came with Whit. Mm, I'm just here checking out some wedding arrangements for Gwen. Titty, I can't believe you let a girl like that just sit there when she can be in your arms. Dancing, I mean. How many times do I have to tell you, Father? There's nothing going on between me and Teresa. Well, if you won't dance with her, I think I will. What? You, you can't. Well, then why not? Well, she's too young for you. And besides, what would Mother say? Well, why drag your mother into this? You don't know she's here? She's sitting right over there at the Russells and the Bennetts. Oh, so she is. That's no problem. She won't mind if I take a turn with the housekeeper's daughter. In fact, she'll consider it quite egalitarian of me. Well, if Mother doesn't mind, then I do. Well, you're feeling rather proprietary toward a young woman who means absolutely nothing to us now, aren't we, son? What's wrong? I, I'm gonna go to the ladies' room and freshen up. Baby, you just came from there. I'll be I'll right back. Uh, well, I hate to abandon ship, but for grace, I gotta go. Hey, I'm so soon. Yeah, well, you know, I just realized how tired I was. Besides, it's a little crowded in here. Well, right here, as soon as Eve gets back, we're gonna leave, too. Okay, you two, but we're gonna come back here soon. Okay, night, Jason. <laughs> Bye, 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 bye. You can't shake me off that easy, Eve. Don't you push me, Ivy. I am in no mood. Oh, well, you're too bad because I am calling the shots now. I hope you're calling to tell me you've arrived in Harmony. We. Oui. My flight was delayed. The hell with your flight. Do you know your target? But of course, Mademoiselle Sheridan Crane. Then, do what I'm paying you to do. Kill her. Tonight. to Julian and stay away from his sister? So why is it eating at you like this? It's not like you're in love with her or anything. Couldn't be. Um, do you see what I see? Interesting. We're almost in the stairs. Hurry up! As soon as Crystal finishes his set, I'm gonna talk to her again. I thought she didn't want to talk to you till the end of the night. That's what she said, but I don't see why she can't give me some little piece of information about my past right now. I mean, even if it's just my mom's first name. I really am happy for you, Chad. Thanks, Whitney. Hey, uh, this next one's for you, kid. Good luck. Thanks. gonna make Ethan realize he's in love with me. Well, that'll be a really neat trick seeing as Ethan isn't even sitting with you. Oh, then he'll be back. I know he will. 
This next song is about realizing that true love can happen in the most unexpected, unlikely ways and places. So, this is to all of you lovers to be out there tonight, whether you know it yet or not. and show T.C. the naughty little pictures of you and Julian frolicking in bed. Go ahead. I beg your pardon? I said, go ahead. You want to go and tell T.C. about what happened between me and Julian 20 years ago? Go ahead. Go and tell him. Tell the whole damn world I don't care anymore. I'm tired of being blackmailed. It's over, Ivy. There's no more secrets. But if my secrets come out, so are your sisters. 